And now I am on to the test piece with rule on again, just to sh go a little bit further. Showing the method I used. Pull scraping. A bit awkward to fight the oil grooves there also. Uh, I used this kind of tool instead of the stone. Found this better. Oil grooves can be like the zigzag pattern here. We're also crossing it totally like to get an X. Like Richard said. And then now you of course go the other way. Just make some like that. Now we can try. See the amount of deflection I get on this surface. So if I zero the indicator, let's see. Here. And then I move. Seems to be See, in the region of one, two, three, and even four hundredths of a millimeter. And one hundredth of a millimeter is half a thousandth. So, with the regular surface rough scrape without rule on, half a thou is okay. And on this, you get three, four times that. Pressing harder, or you get even more. The scrape that I have uh, achieved, which is, should be ten times, roughly, as you scrape uh, normal cast iron. So if I start off, let's say here, zero the indicator. In a bot in a hole, and then go up. You see, it's roughly ten hundredths of a millimeter, one tenth, as little shy of um, five thousandths. Now this piece gets a little bit. Uh, I've tested a lot of different stuff, uh, so the, the it begins to get a little bit shallow and in depth, I think. But I will also show how you can. Or we learned a tip from Richard how you can use the machine scraper also here. I mean, it's uh, preferable because of the amount of time it will take for you to use a hand scraper. Okay, just find a high spot. Let me see. Like that. There it is. Undrop it a little bit. So the stroke is not that great. Long. Okay, and now you can sneak up instead of digging down and because I now have the normal 5 degrees I should have had 15-20. Uh, now just try and then you can begin by laying it flat and then sneaking up and then it takes off. And there you have the end of it.
As I said, you sh should have had, instead of 5 degree negative, you should have had 15 to 20. Now we can see if this produced difference in height. I am not sure. So I see the indicator. Yeah, let me... Take a low spot, yeah, okay. Seems to be see, three or four hundreds, which is something like uh, two thousand. There it is, almost five hundreds. Now this is a rough scraped surface, machine scraped, and then we can see if we zero the indicator here, that the deviation is roughly one hundredths of a millimeter the oil grooves were made with a tool just from an old screwdriver just um, ground flat there so using it like like a knife tool like that And if you need to have more, like X, it's just a matter of adding another stripe. And then of course, following that. See here I cut too deep so this goes through the layer as I said I was a little bit afraid that I have since I've been dealing and doing many test scripts so that I was too deep and that was evidence of that and also this piece missing because I want to see how to peel off if it peeled off now I've dried this and I put this on here and then I can apply oil down the grooves here. Mimicking this is the oil supply. As you can see oil is already coming out on the sides and I see that behind here. So this will then mimic how the you see the oil retains. And just out of curiosity, how would the flaked surface look like? Yes, from zero to something like up to ten 
hundreds. See. So that's about four thousands. 